Central Carolina, I have been participating on Pavlina Kids Place. Hey everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place, and I'm on location at the ISRI convention in Orlando with TV journalist and best-selling author Tom Brokaw. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Very well. That's good. Okay. So, um, not having TV until you were 15, which is my age, uh, is that? Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it was a reality of how I grew up. It did allow me to spend a lot of time outdoors in the uh, hills around the Missouri River where I grew up and playing baseball and swimming because mm -hmm. I wasn't wedded to the television. But then when I got it when I was 15, I was uh, you know, pretty disciplined about watching only the news and then I had other things to worry about. Yeah, definitely. I've noticed a lot of kids, you know, don't go outside anymore. I know. So. Kids have all kinds of obstacles growing up. What kind of obstacle did you have and how did you overcome or deal with you it? You know, I really didn't have that many. When I think back on it, my parents were very supportive. We lived in working class towns where everybody had about the same thing. There was no great gap between the rich and the poor. And I lived in a place where you were always secure and safe. Mm -hmm. and there were no drugs around. We drove cars too fast. And maybe when I was in high school, we drank a little too much beer from time to time. But by and large, um, you know, it was an innocent childhood. Yeah, definitely. We're at the ISRI convention. Um, it's a really cool place showing about, you know, recycling industry. What's the best thing you've seen so far? Well, I've always been interested in this business because they're almost all family owned mm -hmm. and they really do recycle a lot of our discarded stuff and they m make new products out of it and, and they've grown over the years from very humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. A lot of these families had guys, uh, had great grandfathers who had horse drawn wagons and they would just gather scrap and, and, and the discarded stuff and then they made a business out of it. So that's the American way. Yeah, definitely. So did you start reporting on recycling when it first started? Yes, because I've been very interested in the environment, and we pay a lot of attention. We have a ranch in Montana, so we have a, what we call our boneyard, where okay. we put a lot of stuff that we don't use anymore and then try to get it recycled. That's cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Okay, my pleasure. Well done. Thank you.